Hello again. So this video is going to be as much about this here, which is the Black Diamond Transfer LT shovel as it is about good design. And I wanted to make this video because there's a couple of details about this shovel that are really clever that I haven't seen any marketing information about yet. And I just wanted to contribute to the conversation around um, like emergency preparedness and what role uh, shovel and good design in general can play into that. So to start off with, this is Black Diamond's newest offering in snow shovels. It is the Transfer LT. It is essentially a member of the Transfer line, um, but it has a skeletonized lightweight um, shovel blade is, as well as the handle assembly up here, which I think is really nice. Um, kind of has like an organic sort of design to it. It is telescopic like that, and it is detachable from the blade. The weight is approximately 400 grams, and I actually bought it because when I was purchasing my Black Diamond Avalanche airbag, I had a transfer, I believe it was a transfer seven, and I wanted to cut some weight out of it to sort of offset the additive weight of the Avalanche airbag itself. However, I actually started with the Black Diamond Deploy Shovel. That was the first snow shovel that I had. And if you haven't seen it, it has the handle that is integrated into it. And as the name implies, you pull the handle out and it automatically clicks into place. And I believe the idea behind that is that in an emergency situation, all you have to do is pull and extend and it should automatically lock into place and then you can proceed to uh, try to extricate any buried victims. What I found with that shovel is that the ergonomics of that curve were not great for doing anything else other than that sort of scooping motion, um, that sort of like almost paddling motion if you will. The curve made it kind of awkward to use as a traditional shovel and I thought limited its non-emergency uses in terms of um, creating uh, snow structures or seats or really anything else. Uh, if you wanted to build a jump, um, that's not the, the product I would advise using. I replaced that with the Transfer 7, as I mentioned, that's related to this. But there was one key detail that the Deploy had that the Transfer didn't, that actually we see a return on which, with the Transfer LT. And it's actually really quite important. And what that is, is the ability for the handle to automatically lock into the blade. With the standard transfer shovel, you had to align them, depress the button, keep that depressed uh, until it entered the, the, um, the blade, and then slide it in until it locked. The deploy, as I mentioned, automatically did that in the same way that with the LT, all you have to do is just line it up, push it in, and get it to lock into place. I inserted it a little too far. That is maybe one criticism. Black Diamond could have easily maybe notched this material down, just like it has it notched up here, uh, to prevent that actually from occurring, because there is no benefit that I can see to collapsing the shovel like this. And why is that such a big deal? Well, in the event of an emergency, you often lose your fine motor skills first. So your ability to sort of push down buttons or even you know, if you've watched any uh, videos of people in real life situations, um, even just inserting a shovel handle into the blade. Uh, you can see a lot of people, you know, they might get it upside down. This is um, one side only. And uh, trying to depress that down um, can be difficult. Uh, as well, uh, you should be able to do it with gloves on. And so not having to find a small button, you know, with large gloves, you can come in here and you can insert it and get that to lock into place. Of course, keep, keep in mind if you don't insert it too far. Similarly, I can pull this out and allow it to lock into place just as it is. So what does that mean in real world situation? Well, if I'm trying to do that paddle motion to dig snow away, to pass it back down, say a relay, I can do that, and then if the hole gets dip deeper um, and I need to dig traditionally, I can extend it out. And I haven't had to, to push any buttons in that entire process from assembly to transition from short to long. And for me, that's really valuable because in emergency situations, the less that you have to do where time is, is of the essence, 
and I mentioned this was as much about design as it is this product, because I think the Transfer LT embodies um, that philosophy very well about good design in the same sense that Black Diamond, what they've done here is they've managed to integrate the pull strap um, cable system into the actual way that you use the product by hooking it up and under. It might seem like a really small detail um, and realistically you can achieve a very similar thing with an elastic band, um, but what this does is this encourages users to not keep their probe in the storage sack because it is able to keep it together and yet it makes it very easy to access in an emergency situation, again with gloves on. No fine motor skills involved um, and just good design. Um, this doesn't really add any extra you know, um, complexity or cost per se to the process. Again, you can achieve a very similar thing with just a standard elastic band. Um, but I have to celebrate good design when I see it. And so just like this is good design, um, so too is the way that you insert this uh, handle into the blade. It's a small detail, but I think it's really valuable. Overall, the product is great. Um, I haven't really had the chance to put it through um, any real meaningful use yet, but I wanted to put this video out there because I don't think there's anything out uh, as of yet um, beyond maybe a couple of uh, publicity videos. So if you were wondering, um, you know, how big it is, how easy it is to use, and that extra little, um, what I consider an important design detail, um, then here you are. So hopefully it helps. Like I said, just a quick video today. Have fun and we'll see you in another one. You take care. Bye for now.